into your life. Sometimes people come into your life and you know right away that they were meant to be there to serve some sort of purpose, teach you a lesson, or to help you find out who you are or who you want to be. You never know who these people may be, possibly your roommate, neighbor, coworker, longest friend, lover, or even a complete stranger. But when you lock eyes with them, you know at that very moment they will affect your life in some profound way. Some people come into our lives and quickly, quickly go. Some people move our souls to dance. They awaken us to new understanding with a passing whisper of the wisdom. Some people make the sky more beautiful to gaze upon. They stay in our lives for a while, leave footprints, leave footprints in our hearts, and we are never the same, ever the same. And sometimes things happen to you that they may seem horrible, painful, and unfair at first, but in reflection you find with that without overcoming those obstacles, you have never realized your potential, strength, willpower, or heart. Everything happens for a reason. Nothing happens by chance or by means of luck. Illness, injury, love, loss of moments of true greatness, and sheer stupidity all occur to test the limits of your soul. Without these small tests, whatever they may be, life would be like a smoothly paved, straight, flat road to nowhere. It would be safe and comfortable, comfortable but dull and utterly pointless. The people who, meet, who you meet who affect your life and the success and downfalls you experience help to create who you become. We are humans becoming, healthy becomes. Even the bad experiences can be learned from. In fact, they are probably the most cognate and important ones. If someone hurts you, betrays you, or breaks your heart, forgive them, for they have helped you learn and tr about trust and the importance of being cautious when you open your heart. If, if, someone you if someone loves you, love them back unconditionally, not only because they love you, but because in a way they are teaching you to love and how to open your heart and eyes to things. Make every day count. I can't stress that. Appreciate every moment and take from those moments everything you could possibly can for you and never be able to experience it again. Talk to people that you've never talked to before and actually listen. Let yourself <coughs> fall in love, break free, and set your sights high. Hold your head up because you have every right to. Tell yourself you are a great individual and believe in yourself. For if you don't believe in yourself, it won't be hard for others to believe in you. You can make of your life anything you wish. Create your own life, then go and live it with absolutely no regrets. We are all humans becoming. Help me become. Judges, that was Katie Osborne. You found something. That's the advantage of bringing your computer to an open mic. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know I was coming here tonight, so I'm not spontaneous for you. Yeah, that's uh, and and we've had. That's one nice thing about our event is a lot of times we have surprise winners. Like in Columbia, one of our winners was was a lady who had was an artist at the art studio that just happened to be hosting the event, and she got up and did this poem about surviving breast cancer and that really blew the audience away. Missy White had the courage to How's everybody tonight? Uh, okay, so first off, she's already introduced me, but I don't share my poetry or really my feelings with much of anybody. I'm one of those people that I'm there for everybody but afraid to open up to others. So tonight you get that chance where you see inside of me. Uh, my, I'm only one is what I signed up uh, and it's where I go to find peace. It's what I do to celebrate, it's what I do to deal. Um, I call it the path I choose, um, so here you go. path I choose, no matter what day it is, what time it is, or what the weather is like, even what is going on with my life or how I feel, you are there, firm and warm, the perfect distance, the perfect friend. You're always listening and never judging. You're always supportive and providing me, me, with company. 
you know just how many flat rocks to leave in the path for me to skip on the pond, or how many sticks to leave for me to snap out every single unit of emotion that I need to express. You know how many steps it's going to take before I can deal with whatever is bothering me. You know when to give life to the trees so that they can either join me in tears or rain applause upon my success and my triumph. When I am paying attention, you show me your beauty. And yet when I am not, you can take my breath away and bring to life the reality of things bigger than my life. How I feel is a great release. As the stones go soaring and skipping across out of my hand, like the melody from a whistler's mouth, only to either slightly skip, like happiness across the surface of water, or like the sick, immediately like the dark em emotions, that I sometimes will still face at the end of this walk. I no longer will feel alone as you bring the sum of the world together to support me. I feel stronger. With each step, the mountain I am facing shrinks as I grow more confident. I understand now. You don't question me or my thoughts, but are always there. I never feel as if I'm intrusive. I never feel as if I'm overstaying my welcome. I never feel as if I could live forever without your company alone. I feel loved. You are the path I choose. With each sunrise run or each midnight walk, or journeys of anger and frustration, or simply meanderings of fear and sadness. You are the path I choose. That was the poem that I wanted to share with you guys. There's others, but that was important.